Skikdash, I need an opportunity to Kino Reed. I work with Solar River Schools Instruction Team, and for Nard Week, we were going to look at the Hoakum. The exterior of the Hoakum Key Museum is inspired by Hoakum buildings that date back well over a thousand years ago. The Hoakum Key Museum honors our Hoakum Hajin, as both the Hoakum and the Autumn were both experts in the Sonoran Desert. And you'll notice there are some similarities and differences in the cultures. We're going to take a field trip to the Pueblo Grand Museum located in Phoenix. This is a Hookum site that was lived in at least 1500 years back and have had several families living at the site over the centuries. By looking at these replicas of Hookum homes, we could reimagine for ourselves what Hookum life would have been like in their experience. These houses are called pit houses, which were made out of adobe mud structured with wooden frames from natural desert materials. The low doorway was important for temperature control and protection from enemies, but as well as every time somebody crawled in and out of their house, it was an exercise in humbleness because one would have to connect to the earth with their hands and their feet. Adobe that made the walls is a sustainable material that does well in the heat. Hookum family homes might have been organized close together like seen here, similar to how autumn villages were organized. On the clay pot you can see one of the elaborate Hookum designs that was very intricate and detailed and precise. The raw cotton shown here would have been grown by the hookum and hand spun into threads which would have been woven on a loom such as this into bigger clothing or fabrics as seen hanging there on the wall. The hookum harvest the naturally growing desert plants as do the autumn still do today so, such as the bayatach, also the mesquite pods that grow off the mesquite tree that can be grinded up and cooked as well as the honum, the choya buds which comes off to of the ends of the choya cactus sometime around February and also the abai, the prickly pear fruit that have also been prepared in, in several ways. One of the more famous contributions of the Hookum was their engineering of some of the earliest irrigation ditches in the desert. Thank you for joining me on this very brief look back at Hookum Society. If there's something I missed or something more you want to know, leave it in the comments below. One way you can help honor our Hookum Hajin is recreate some of their designs shown here. All you would have to do is pause the video so you can follow the step-by-step -step progression of each drawing. The second page shows dancers. What you could do is take a picture of your drawing and share it in the comment section. Thank you for joining. Damni.